many Democrats who are running for office right now are going, oh man, the ship is sinking, the guy's head ain't right, and we gotta distance ourselves from him. Uh, here is black lesbian press secretary, Corinne Jean-Pierre, and uh, she's having trouble running cover for him when asked uh, who's gonna you know, invite Biden to come campaign with him. In the last month, he's okay. giving a speech tomorrow in DC. He's given fundraisers in New Jersey, New York. He campaigned with Democratic governor candidates in Massachusetts and Maryland, and then he was in California, Oregon, and Colorado next week. Yes, he has plans to be in Pennsylvania and Florida, but behind closed doors with two of the Democratic candidates. There's a White House Office of Political Affairs. Have they been getting phone calls from candidates in some of those other states, Arizona, Nevada, Georgia, Wisconsin, Michigan, to say, we'd love to have the president come? Look, I don't have any calls to read out. We don't have any calls or personal conversations to read out. How the hell would she have call records? What is she, the press secretary or something? She doesn't know who's calling the president and asking him to campaign for him. Of course, that's complete nonsense. If they wanted Biden there, she would be telling people Biden's schedule. By the way, Biden's going to Arizona tomorrow to campaign with Katie Hobbs. By the way, Biden's going over to uh, Ohio to campaign with Tim Ryan. Biden's going to swing by uh, Georgia and campaign with, uh, with Stacey Abrams. By the way, I thought my Georgia accent was pretty good. I really thought it was. Uh, we're in Georgia now. I'm, ba I'm basically doing some version of Big Daddy, Blanche's father in the Golden Girls. Um, but yes, they don't want Biden because they know what's about to happen. Although, as I always say, give the devil his due, like anything can happen over these next two weeks. Nuclear war, COVID-6, you never know. Um, but it's not looking good and people don't want to be attached to Biden. How, how much do people not want to be attached to Biden? Well, here is a video from Fox Business on how bad it actually is getting for the elderly man pretending to be president. Well, more bad news for President Biden this morning. A new Fox News poll shows that if the election were to happen today, only 33 percent of voters would vote for President Biden, while 54 percent say that they would vote for someone else. OK, so I always tell you guys, I, I try not to get too caught up in polls because it depends on the sample size. You know, it depends who's picking up the phone. It generally, the people that are being polled, they skew a little bit older in age. That being said, older people tend to vote. It's a little screwy, but if, if they're roughly right on that, that 33% of people who voted for Biden would vote for him again. I mean, we're told the guy got 81 million votes. I can do some basic math in my head where I think we're at about 27 million people would vote for him this time. That is not good if you're a Democrat. Like that ain't good at all.